Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today we will be covering the complete lore of the Kabruiber units in Signalis. This will cover everything from combat, secrets hidden in the code, to what we know about them from various notes. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. KLBR units, or Commando Leinheit Bioresonate Technik Replica, more commonly known as Colibri, or the German word for hummingbird, are a regular security replica of the 6th generation. These units are used as commando control units, using their bioresonance to increase squad cohesion as well as improve the mental stability of all units in a squad. During the events of the game, the Colibris have almost all been corrupted. Their corrupted form sports a swollen head as well as several fake illusionary versions of itself spawning around it. Upon entering a room with a Kilibri, you will see your screen undergo slight distortions and statics, as well as a loud radio sound will play. Getting close to them will increase the scale of these effects and do damage to the player until they die. Defeating them can be done either by tuning the radio to a specific frequency which will flash onto the screen, or by shooting the real Kilibri rather than the fake illusions. It is suggested that the easiest way to kill them is using a shotgun spread cone, which if it hits the real one will kill them instantly. With the basics of how they work in gameplay done, we can move into the lore behind these short little bioresonant radios. To start off, we can examine their overview page, which gives us several details about them. First up, they are 152 centimeters tall, or right around 5 feet tall. They are biomechanical with a polyethylene shell, along with bullet-resistant armor plating. We can also learn more about them from Replica Known Issues Part 4, which states the following. Great care should be given to Colibris. Their neural patterns are very unstable and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influences from others. Like most bioresonant individuals, Colibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop, imitating and then broadcasting the emotions of those around them, acting as a sort of amplifier. While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to their bioresonant connection, neural pattern development in Colibris varies less than in other modules. This constant exchange of memories and emotions between units of a cadre acts as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. However, once the majority of a unit in a cadre degrade, it will degrade the remaining units down with them. Because of this, it is important to decommission Colibri units instantly when they begin to degrade. For persona stabilization, Colibris should have access to a well-stocked library. From here, we can start to cover some of the notes that mention Colibris indirectly. To start, a lone Colibri seems to suspect Adler early into the decay of Sipiensk, stating, Keep an eye on Adler. He's hiding something from us. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an L-Star unit working here at Sipiensk. There's no record of that module of replica ever being deployed here. In order for a single unit for some survey work in the mines was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander's sickness. A suspicion that is later reinforced by a note from Storch Sieben, who requested that a Kuibri be required to keep Adler and the facility in check, stating, P.S. Keep an eye on the administrator unit. Since the instant, he's been acting stranger than usual. Without the commander to keep him in check, we have to ask the Kuibris for help. However, despite both units predicting Adler's fall from grace, the Colibris had problems of their own and wouldn't really be able to solve this. A specific Colibri unit, believed to be Colibri S2301, is described as undergoing persona decay in an event that likely caused the collapse of the entire Colibri system. That reads as following. One of the Colibris has holed herself up in the management office on the 7th floor. I've seen her in her illusions sitting in the room crying. Which one is the real one? I think it's because the painting is there. Whenever I was close to her, I felt like my mind was being assaulted by that image of that island. The sensation was strong enough to make me hurl. Isn't there a way to neutralize the transmission? Maybe some sort of feedback loop or the frequency of her control system? This event left most Colibris infected. However, one individual was, I guess, lucky enough to escape this cycle. This Colibri is referred in the code as Colibri S2302. It is the only non-infected Colibri in the entire game most likely due to its proximity to its fetish object, that being books and libraries. Speaking with S2302, they tell us the following. The others, they've changed. We no longer sing in unison. I've used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together we guided them all. 
and now I can't understand their thoughts anymore. I've never been so alone before. They're still together, and I am here outside, and they won't let me in. I cannot stand their song anymore. This is the only place I don't have to hear them. This is the only place I'm safe. I can't go on like this. I wish I'd become like the others too. At least then I wouldn't be alone. I hate this. However, the Calibri involved, her survival is a living hell, expressing that Calibris are very social beings that cannot understand isolation and solitude. Beyond her, we also know some slight details about Calibri R1604, and she was the protector whose PC we use in Rotfront, who requested the SMG that Elster uses throughout the game, and she is also the block wart of Rotfront Sector C. There's something major of note I still haven't covered yet, and that's the text that Coibri display on screen during combat. When fighting the Coibri, text will flash up on the screen in German. Translating this text reveals the following messages. Beyond the sun, in the dark of the stars, I saw the face of a god. The shape and color the words can't describe. I saw the six sides of the world unfold and light swallowed me. I had become one with nothing, where life and death are meaningless. Give up. And I saw the sixth seal broke and the earth trembled, and the sun turned black, and the moon like blood, and the stars fell from the skies. This one is apparently a reference to Revelation 6.12, which states as follows, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as a sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. There is another quote from the Calibris of Strange is the night where dark stars rise and strange moons circling through the sky, songs that the hides should sing, where the king's rags blow must die. This is a reference to the king in yellow, apparently. Um, I was told this by someone else. These quotes establish Calibri as well read and learned beings who, while undergoing persona degradation, assault the mind with the very philosophical grandeur that they themselves are struggling with which, at least to me, adds some depth to their character as being fairly educated people who are just kind of stuck in this cycle of hell. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, feel free to sub, or not. Um, in the description below, I'll have both the unofficial Signalis Discord server as well as my main server, VSL. If you're a Signalis player, check these places out to find fellow players to talk to and theorize about the game, and I'm sure we'd both love to have you. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.